For emotional equilibrium, it's now time to delve into the brain science here. Why it is that you can affect your emotional circuitry. It has certain levers and buttons and dials that you can pull, push, twist, limbic friction. There's a little dial on a little remote control that you could imagine. You can turn up your PFC, the blue. You can turn down or up your hippocampus. If you like to turn down your amygdala if you don't want to freak out a lot. What does it mean, limbic calibration? The limbic system is emotion related and includes the big four. Limbic friction we've described as being the turning up and down of attentiveness of the nervous system. Are you focused? Are you paying attention? Or are you kind of half asleep? Sometimes you want to get de-escalated in terms of your arousal and sometimes you want more. There's chemicals that play into that. Caffeine, adenosine, nicotine. Adenosine is supposed to make us sleepy when we've been up too long, make the eyes droopy and rub them things like that. Builds up in your system and it's supposed to be able to park in the receptors of certain uh, post-synaptic dendrites that receive the tired indicators and say it's time to go to sleep. However, caffeine parks in the same parking space as where the adenosine would have parked and plugs them all up. So your body thinks it's not tired because the adenosine, which is supposed to make you tired, isn't hitting the receptors because caffeine is in there until it wears off and you crash because the adenosine has not gone anywhere. It's been hanging out in your synaptic clefts the whole time in between your, your dendrites the whole time. And now when the caffeine wears off, you crash, hence the story of caffeine. So you can use chemicals, you can use breathing as we've described. Uh, Dr. Huberman talks about one of the ways to do the opposite of caffeine and to calm down is the physiological sigh. I'll demonstrate it. Big breath in, little breath on top, let it out. Three, four times of that. It's all circuitry, just like before. Everything is, is flowing back and forth in here. It tricks parts of your brain because the diaphragm presses on the heart in such a way that makes the heart think, I don't need to beat as fast. I can chill. So it's neural circuitry that can be used to your advantage to increase or lower your level of arousal, that's limbic friction.